party in Newcastle. A hospitality travel guide to Newcastle upon time. Because it is compact, Newcastle upon Tyne is a city that permits the party reveller to spend time in a variety of pubs all with their unique atmosphere in relatively close proximity. This inviting aspect of Newcastle means it will be thronging with a metropolitan crowd on a Friday and Saturday night. The golden rule is to leave your coat at the hotel where you are staying. That is, unless you want to stand out in the crowd, most of whom prefer minimal party wear, especially in the depths of the cold winter. Being coatless is a sign that you are truly a hardened party animal. Step 1 Kick off with a couple of locally produced, cheap guest tales at the Union Rooms on Neville Street. A former gentleman's club, the Union Rooms is a grand Victorian building, an architectural status symbol of the local wealthy businessmen, politicians, and other luminaries who met here to network and relax. Many of these celebrated luminaries who had molded Newcastle's modern heritage with their multifarious talents are featured in portraits hung throughout the interior of this stunning pub. This is an addendum to the Union Room's homely character with its labyrinth of rooms, including a library, a broad sweeping staircase and a romantic real flame fire to comfort any minimally attired party animal with a desire to warm themselves before moving on to the next pub. Step 2 A former ticket office for rail travelers, for the liberal-minded there is North Bar, North Bar, the old ticket office, Neville Street, Newcastle upon Tyne, NE1SDP, which is just meters from the Union Rooms when heading in a southwesterly direction towards Newcastle Central Station. The pink neon light is a welcoming symbol of its liberal attitude. Inside you will be able to acquire some of Newcastle's finest cocktails at the original ticketing counter, now North Bar's Dispensary. Once a cocktail is acquired, be hypnotized by the mirror balls. Dangling from the ceilings, the mirror balls reflect the posters advertising 70s porn. Step 3 from North Bar cross the road to the head of steam, where you will find a bohemian crowd of students, artists, and hippies. This split-level bar has a relaxed, come-as-you-please atmosphere. It is one of the few bars in Newcastle that refuses to use bouncers. Step 4 from the head of STEM The reveller might want to step up the pace of the party by heading to the apartment. Just east of the head of STEAM and an award winner, the apartment is a super chic lounge bar and restaurant. A converted Victorian building, the apartment is styled on Manhattan dwellings. 
Once inside you will encounter a long American style bar serving exquisite cocktails and the finest of champagnes. If you're hungry by now, try the apartment's restaurant for some of finest modern cuisine from some of Newcastle's top chefs. Step 5 By now you might be in the mood to salsa. For this, head east of the apartment to the vineyard, 1, Gray Street, Newcastle upon Tyne, Tyne, and where, Annie 16E. Here you will experience a unique continental atmosphere. The wine cellar styled bar has a wide range of superb bins from all over the world. Once served, you can be carried off to the traditional sounds of Latin American salsa. This is just a tiny sample of party options in Newcastle upon Tyne. You can find this cosmopolitan city in the northeast of England. You're sure to enjoy such a warm welcome from the world-renowned Geordie, Newcastle native, hospitality that you will want to return.